against the wind Listen, laugh and learn and understand Oh, believe that you can It's the Women's Information Network It's the wind. Welcome to The Wind Show. We are so glad you joined us. I'm Paula Fellingham, CEO of the Women's Information Network, thewinonline.com. We're the online home for all women, all ages, a community of women helping women. Our hosts today are Heather Anderson. She's a runner-up for Miss USA. Laura Lee Christensen, she's the Executive Vice President of The Win. And Kim Coles is an actress, a comedian, a speaker, and a show host. Our guest today is Tracy DeGroff. She's an author, speaker, mother of five boys, and the new host of the UGG Raising Boys Show on The Win. She and her husband, Ron, live in the Chicago area with their five sons, Nathan, Luke, Joel, Adam, and Caleb. <laughs> Wow, yeah. that's amazing. <laughs> Impressive. Thank you. We're so glad you're here. Thank you. So the show's title is Ugh, Five Boys. Yeah. Why did you name it that? Why did you name your show that? Um, because every mother of boys has ha said Ugh. Every mother of boys has had that moment where they are just pulling their hair out saying, Ugh. Oh, why do they do that? And every girl who dates yeah. someone who has five boys says, Ugh. <laughs> Not good. I know. Yeah. So you're going to offer special tips to 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 mothers and yeah. how to to get through it all. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean, I over the almost 20 years that I've been a mother of these boys, I've meet I meet people, brand new people in the grocery store, and they'll say, "How do you do it?" Mm -hmm. So the show is going to be how we do it. Oh, okay. I have one well, question for you. Sure. How many gallons of milk do you go through in a week? <laughs> <laughs> we do. We typically go through a gallon a day and a loaf of bread a day with sandwiches and cereal and so forth. Wow. Oh, wow, wow. That's, amazing. that's a lot of food. Yeah. I went to visit my daughter who has four boys, Ooh. and I just laughed when I put up the toilet seat to see a big bullseye. <laughs> that was her way of training these little boys. Are those the kind of tips that women coming to this to your show are going to get about raising boys? If or? I had an answer to that problem, <laughs> I would be a millionaire. <laughs> Uh, I, th I think more of the tips that they're going to get, Laura Lee, are tips on how to respond to situations that make you say, ugh. Mm. Uh, we're female. Mm -hmm. our, mm -hmm. our boys are male. Yeah. So from the get-go, when the doctor hands you your little bundle of boy, mm -hmm. you've got a <laughs> basic <laughs> problem. <laughs> you know, there's a biological there's a difference, difference that we don't connect with. Mm -hmm. And so um, that's going to be the basis of the show. For example, one of, one of our shows is going to be uh, motivating your boy to brush their teeth. Mm -hmm. So, you know, taking a practical thing that they maybe don't like to do and then making it a little bit fun and, and how I've been able to do it for 20 years. Okay, so the women out there are saying, how do you motivate your boys to brush their teeth? <laughs> okay. Well, one way that I have motivated my boys to brush their teeth, and this is going to sound really gross, but um, I've gotten those little floss sticks that you can buy that are individual in the grocery store, mm -hmm. right? and I've helped them floss their teeth, and then I've made them smell it. And and oh. look at it, and boys oh, speak. But now I know. I look at Heather. <laughs> no, I just wonder what it smells like. Look at Heather. <laughs> Heather <laughs> from the <laughs> pageant pageant queen audience. She's just going. <laughs> oh no! I grew up playing tackle football. I was <laughs> tomboy as it gets. So I'm thinking, my poor mom who had three boys and me playing little league yeah. football. Yeah. <laughs> she never really had a daughter until I turned 18. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I, I think the the basic idea there is to learn to speak their language. Boys speak gross. And okay. so that's just one of the things okay. that it's helped them kind of get excited. Right. I don't think it was about hygiene and cleaning their teeth. It was mm -hmm. about getting the smell of that gross stuff that's in my teeth. They liked <laughs> it. <laughs> and and oh. I'm amazed with my own boys. They have an uncanny ability to turn anything into a game. Yeah. And mm. if you can do that, then I, I think you've got immediately kind of got them on your side. Definitely. Yeah. My my youngest son Caleb and I, I got him to fold socks because I would toss him. I would toss him the two pairs and see how fast he could bundle them up and throw them into a drawer. Mm. We got them out like that. Yes. Was, oh, that yeah, that you're right. Smart. That's genius. That's yeah. genius. Yeah. I want to know how you, as the only woman in the house, the only estrogen in the house, how do you maintain that 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 private side of yourself and that feminine side of yourself with all those mm. boys? Because there's another boy in the house, and that's your husband. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good I, I just have to tell you, that that is why I'm so happy that I'm here with oh. all of these <laughs> good, answer. good answer. That is how you do it. So, America, that is how you do it. You get with your girlfriends, and okay. you get your yeah. estrogen charged up. I laugh at my house. I say I live in a sea of testosterone, and I call it a testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, I'm so swimming in this sea of testosterone. 
Just us or one? It's sports and competition and eating and bodily function noises. <laughs> <laughs> so I get with my girlfriend, so I'm so happy to be here with the Women's Information Network oh. and, and hang out with the girlfriends. Well, we are so happy to have you here. <laughs> yeah. So how does being a mother of five boys, how does that prepare you to take your message out to the world? Um, I think that it uniquely qualifies me as an expert because I've been there, done that. So I'm not saying that I have a perfect family or a perfect relationship with my boys. No one does, does anybody? No, no. One does. <laughs> um, and that's why the name of the show is UG. You know, raising boys because we all have those those moments that challenge us. So yep. I think I've been there, done that, seen it all, mm -hmm. all the different ranges of ages with my boys. I think that helps, and I can't wait to connect with with my audience and oh. and. Uh, Get that mm. estrogen fill. Oh. I have another question. Are, do you feel that you're preparing them to go out in the world and, and find amazing women like you? Oh, and how do definitely. you do that? Um, that's one of the challenges of mm. being female and not doing too much for our boys. Mm. Because we're not doing them any kind of service, and our daughters-in-law in the future will hate us. Our daughters-in-law <laughs> in the future. Yes, she, yeah. So when I finally get my girls, I want them to like me. Oh, and you are answer. gonna get five yeah. girls. Yeah. So, so one of the things I've done with my boys, even though I could make their lunches for school every day, and I don't put any women down that do that, because I mm -hmm. know there are some that love to do that. I don't love to make lunches, so I make them make their own lunches. Mm. So I think part of it is holding myself back, mm -hmm. letting them go, and then my, my kid must have the most pathetic looking peanut butter and jelly sandwich in kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> There's peanut butter and jelly all over the bag. It just looks like a mush. <laughs> but he made it himself. But he but did just let it go. Yeah. Let what about him go. the laundry? The laundry is a very horrible situation. Do they do it? Do you do it? No, we both do. Okay. But we're not there in terms of, um, it's not like a well-oiled machine. Okay. Let's so put it that way. So there's weak spots everywhere is yeah. what you're saying? Um, <laughs> they put everything in one, in one? one load. Oh, oh, they nice. put it all in one load, put it on uh, cold, and then some detergent. And I've let them do that. I've tried to sort, get them to think whites, lights, darks, reds. Uh, mm -mm. It doesn't work. One <laughs> load, one one uh, okay. temperature. A lot of pink shirts. Blue t-shirts. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. We, all, we have had such a good time with you. Oh, thank you. Oh, I love this. I, I love the tips, and I know the audience is all thinking, give us some more, give us some more, give yeah. us some more. So go to our show. It's UG Raising Boys. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. And you know, we'd love to visit, we would love to have you visit the Women's Information Network by going to thewinonline.com where you're going to get solutions, you're going to share ideas, and really connect with women worldwide. Now let's live joyfully with passion and purpose. Have a wonderful day. It's the Women's Information Network. It's the Win.